How's it going, subscribers? So that's what I'm gonna call you guys anyway. Yeah. Anyway, today's gonna be a story time video. Uh, I'm not gonna mention anybody's names because I don't want anybody, you know, pointing fingers and naming names and all that. Anyways, uh, this was about three years ago, back in year five, because I'm in year eight and I'm quite young, anyway. I'm twelve. Excuse me. And we were on the park, and I'm with two of my other friends. And we were just watching like Shrek is Love, Shrek is Live, having a proper good banter time, just messing around on swings and all that. So my friend Ben, who I'm going to mention his name because of his YouTube channel, which is, he's going to rename it Dype Type, and it used to be Swag Turtle, and he has a second channel, just called Ben Smith, where he just like makes vlogs and the house tour for his first, I don't know. Anyway, so Ben says, Hi, it's Ben. Alright, and he's like, alright, Ben. And then he's like, hey, meet my friend. Alright, meet, right, meet this dude, uh, such and such. I'm not going to name his name, I'm just going to call him Goku. I don't know. Right, let's just call him Goku for now. Just because he, he literally plumbing kicked me full belt, but that's, that's for later. And I'll, I'll explain more why I call him Goku. Yeah, anyway. So he says, meet my friend Goku. And so I'm like, Alright then, I'm like, alright Goku, he's like, alright, alright it's Ben, I'm like, so we're just hanging out, I'm on this, like, this spinny thing, and, uh, this is like, bear in mind, this, I'm quite young, so I haven't really been in, into, I don't really used to go around to the park that much, because I always used to stay in the cars and play Xbox on Blooming, <laughs> Minecraft, and all that stuff, because nobody else wanted to play Blooming, so I just play Minecraft on single player and try and build a Blooming Death Star or something. And I didn't say Death Star just because of the battlefront background. Anyway. So <laughs> Right, where were we? Yeah, so we're just spinning around I'm spinning around on this thing and Goku is like, you know, trying to kick me. I mean honestly I kinda deserved it at the beginning because it was he were they were trying to get round and he ended up just like kicking me in the face and I got a bit of bruise on my nose. I mean, what he did wasn't really worth it. I mean, I took the mick out of his pink bike because I mean, he was a gangster hard lad. You know, always hanging around in a gang wearing matching tracksuit bottoms, you know, with flat caps on and everything. You know, your gangster old bear caps or whatever. And then he's got a pink flowery bike that's clearly meant for girls. So then, I'm, so I took mick out of his bike, then he keeps kicking me in the face and I'm like, Goku, just stop. Stop kicking me. And he's like, just continue. So I'm like, Goku, just pack it in, yeah. But he carries on. So I just end up getting off, because I'm sick of it. And then he ends up, like, a couple of seconds later. This is vivid, because this is a couple of years ago. And I remember most of it, because it was quite scary at the time. It's a bit of like a two-in-one story, this, anyway. So then he's threatening me, and, you know, he ends up... Starting a fight on me, threatening me and all that. I'm like, come on then, mate. Come on, fight me. I'm not scared of you. And then he runs off, right? Gets his mate, who smashed one of my friends' friends' head into the floor and gave like near the broken nose. So I'm proper scared. And then my friend, my other friend, says, "Mate, we need to run." So we sprinted to the top of the park, like, mate, we were just being chased by a pack of wolves, even though they were halfway down. They were on his back. They were on the bikes, full on speeding up there as if they were on a Lamborghini or, you know, Ferrari or a race car or something. They were going so fast, it was ridiculous. I don't know if that was just me being slow because my asthma and all that stuff, you know, I'm quite a fat lad back then. Um, I mean, I'm quite, honestly, I mean, just in my opinion, I'm not skinny now for some reason, anyway. And then, so we're up at the park and I'm like, mate, I don't want anything to do, I just want to be your mate. I just want to be your friend. And then Goku's like, I don't care, I don't care. And I'm like, mate, I'm just going to go away. I'm going to go away and we're just going to forget about this. So I'm just walking away and Goku comes up behind me and he, he just, for some reason, it shocked me and kind of like winded me a bit because it, it, it scared me. And he full on kicks me in the back and I nearly tumble over. So this is when I started to get upset, but the only reason I got upset was because I felt like I couldn't do anything about it. So I started getting proper upset, and then, you know, we were probably going to go, and I'm saying, mate, I'm going to one day, I'm going to find you, and I'm going to just absolutely smash your face into the ground. Your mum won't even recognise you once I'm done. 
And he's like, alright then, and he just walks off. So I'm just, like starting to tear up because I'm, 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 I've always been a wuss and I always will be. Um, but. So then he, he ends up going back to the park with his friends. Then he follows me home. But, but this, this is, bear in mind, this is like my scariest moment in my life so far. I don't have that many stories to tell, but, you know, they're a bit more on, on, on the way because I do have some. But, yeah, he's... So he follows me home, and I'm in my house, proper getting scared. I'm saying, mate, I'm, I, I'm like, Mom, I'm going to get an half out in a second. I'm going to go up to him and just shank death out of him. I'm going to just make him bleed, but then I'm getting I'm like, I'm not really. I'm just saying that just to make myself feel tough. Like, but I want to feel like an hard lad. I want to feel cool. Um, but then he follows me, and then my stepdad comes home, and this, this is the good, this is not so good, but I'm like, oi, mate, oi. Uh, such and such is home. Stepdad's home. Mate, he's probably going to get a baseball bat and smash your head in, so I think you might as well go. And he still stood there, swearing at my mum. Oh, my mum just, my mum, my mum's just the best. I'm not even kidding. She, she, she can be so soft and kind. She gets me out. Which is, you know, she, she's, my mum's right nice. But if something annoys either me or her, she can go on a blooming Trevor Phillips. Rage, rampage mode. She just goes off her chains. My mum's brilliant. So then, my mum's having a go at him, and he's, he's swearing at my mum. And th this kid who I thought was actually going to kill me, you know, the one who smashed that girl's head into the floor. He goes, "I, no, nah, mate. Oi, Goku, just leave him. Come on, mate. There's no point. I don't." And then he says to my mum, "I don't know what's happened." But all I've seen was this, and I've just tried to stop it going on. So I kind of have nothing against this dude. So this guy is pretty much safe in my books. And if 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 he's watching my videos and he understands, if he get, watches my channel, I want I want to thank you for that because you're actually a really do nice dude. And you know I, I don't want anybody to judge you if you know if they think you're a gangster dude. You you know who you are. <laughs> but then uh, this dude gets Goku away. Like, jobs are good and we live in a happy family. My dad comes to pick me up because I usually go to my dad's on a Tuesday. And I'm yelling at the top of my voice, Come on, Goku, come fight me, mate! I'll actually smash you! My dad's here, he won you over in his Skoda! No, because my dad has a Skoda, he's actually a pretty nice car, mate. I'm not gonna lie. It's quite fast as well. But, yeah, I'm like, Goku, I'm gonna run you over in my Skoda, mate. I'll just run you up, you'll be dead. Can't get your friends to back you up now. So I'm at my dad's, I'm shaking like mad because I'm I'm frightened to death. This is the way to me. I mean I've been in like what I considered scary experiences, like get into a small fight in a play area when I was younger. But I mean that wasn't exactly the scariest thing on earth really. It's like getting into a fight with a I don't know, eleven year old when I'm ten and thinking I'm a captain hard lad for smashing his head in. But all I really did was just pushing on you know, foam stairs and you know, just and falling down and me running off like a chicken. But then, you know, a couple of weeks go by. This is, this is about like three of the stories, so that you hold on to it, it might be a bit long. But it, it, it's worth it. it. I think it's worth it anyway. It's a good story. Uh, so then, like a year or so later, or a couple months later, I'm at like this restaurant you probably think. Me, my mom, my stepdad, my little brother, my friend, my mate, I'm just gonna call him, actually I'm not just gonna call him my, my mate. Anyway, so we're just at this pub, uh, we're sitting on this wall thinking we're complete gangsters, you know, just sitting on the wall and all kids are looking at us, going, whoa, how'd you get up there mate, how'd you get up there? Because we thought we were just like Ezio and Connor from Assassin's Creed, we thought we were proper assassins climbing up there. And then we just sat up there, and this is probably the funniest moment out of all these stories. This is the second funniest, the first funniest is later on, but... Anyway. So I'm sat on this wall, me and my mate, we're just talking, and, um, so this geezer, Goku, comes back and he goes, He comes up with the worst insult you could ever think on the planet. He goes, he comes up to me, taps me on the shoulder and goes, Alright, sausage! That's what my nan calls me, to be sweet. So I'm, I don't take much offence to that and go, Alright, Goku. And he's like, Alright, I heard you call police on me last time. Because cause we did. We, we were 
sick. We were just quite sick of it. Um, like, yeah, such and such, like that. And he goes, yeah, are you going to tell your mum and me again? And I go, yeah, I will. And I go, mum. And then he, he, he full on runs. He just runs off. And it's actually really funny. And then I'd actually missed a bit. So we're going to just uh, go back in a couple months. After we just... So me and my mate, we're back on park we're with this other girl and says, Oh mate, don't worry about him. What you have to do is slap him over Ed with a plastic bottle and you'll be fine. So we don't really have a plastic bottle, but we're just chilling up right. We were climbing up this container thinking we were, you know, hard lads and assassins again. And then... Guess who comes around? Captain Flat Cat Goku. He uh, comes around and goes, Alright mate, how's it going? And he goes, yeah, I goes, yeah, you, you scared me, you scared me, aren't you? And he goes, nah, not really, which I am. I'm frightened to death of him because he's like, you know, I don't, I really don't like him. It's not himself because he's a scrawny midget. But it's the fact that he's one of those kids who thinks if he's got a squad behind him, he's, you know, one of, he's scariest chap at lot. Which, I mean, he scared me because it's the first time I've ever been threatened. And he put his mate on his bike. And I ended up, you know, just actually just not, I got scared, but then I eventually just thought, I just didn't care. So I went, do you know what, stuff this, mate, in a bit. I just went, well, you, yeah, mate, you come in. Like, will you come, woman, well, mate, mate. He's like, no, he's just sat there on the container. And then Goku and his other dude is like, you know, just uh, having a go, uh, I, I go up to the top and I phone my mum. Uh, but because I've like run out of mobile data, so I'm like, oh, this is absolutely great. There's no point in me phoning the police because if this dude's being threatened, they'll just flee because they're on bikes and police will never get there in time. So I ended up sprinting home, grabbed my mum. I said, mum, my mate's been uh, threatened by Goku, and uh, uh, he looks a bit upset. And my mum pretty much just like sprints out of that door. She is gone. She she gets to the top of wreck, and she yells. Oi, what you doing? And them two, they flee. They're right, you're scared of my mum, I swear to God. So them two, they flee, right? And then uh, my mate comes up, and I bet he must have been scared poolless because he's coming up and he's he's shivering and he's uh, crying a bit. I mean, it was actually pretty scary, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but, yeah. Um, and then we just went back inside. We talked about it. We, we had those like, little things where we went... Where we say to each other, oh, what we should have done, we should have smashed him and knocked him out and all that stuff, you know, acting cool, thinking, oh, we could have just smashed him, we could have killed him, and we would have just gotten away with it, and then, but, you know, it, we didn't, we just chickened out, and we ran, I did anyway, I just, I, I got, I just really got bored of him, trying to insult me, and trying to scare me, so then, this one happened today, I'm with Ben, and we're sat at McDonald's, and we're just having a chat, we're just like, Oh, dude, we're talking about how, you know, my videos have just got monetized, and he's like, oh, will you help me do some videos? I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, that's why he's doing a video tonight, he's using my computer to do, I think, some GTA gameplay or something. Anyway, so then he's, uh, he's, he's talking, and, and my mum says, oh, will you go and go with your little brother, and uh, go and get him a McFlurry or something, it's two quid, and I go, alright then. But then I realised it was, like, opposite me, and guess who it is? None other, three years later... None other than Goku himself! Alright, oh, this is a, a, a bit of an experience. And uh, um, him and his uh, gang, gang his squad members, are just, you know, gangstering it out in McDonald's because they think that's pretty much their squad zone. Anyway, and so we're talking, and Ben's like, you know, nod, shaking his head, not just like tapping his head over to the side, going, It's Ben, look, look who it is. Look who it is, it's Goku, mate. And you're like, What? I looked at Sam and go, oh well, I mean, he hadn't seen me in three years. I'm pretty sure he's forgotten me. So, I mean, I'd, I'd forgot it were him, to be honest. And then, it's like, then I, I go and get an ice cream for Noah. And I go and sit down at the table, right? We've just been waiting a while. And then I see this one dude, you know, Captain Flat Cap, just another one of Goku's gang. And he's having a right go at my mum, and my mum is just swear, like swearing, because this dude's swearing at us. My mum's swearing at him, and uh, I come back to sit back down at the table, and I go, I look at Ben, and I goes, "Hey, what's going on?" And, my, and Ben's just absolutely just laughing his head off, and he's going, "This is the funniest thing I've seen like all day," and 
I'm like, why? What's happened? And he goes, so basically, your mum has just had an argument with this dude because he sat in your place or something like that and tried to intimidate us by, you know, sitting in my place and nicking my place and all that and trying to be cool because they were sitting across from us, you know, acting all loud. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, right? And we're having a bit of a lol. Not quite funny. And then uh, I look across and I see a uh, Goku. Yeah, good, good fun. And he looks at me and he goes, all right, Spencer, you know, trying to act all intimidating and I go, all right, mate, how's it going? And, you know, like, I'm not scared of him anymore because, and then he's like, he just, he does one of those disappointed, like, What's happening now? I thought you were like scared, you know, poop or something. He's like sweating. He's always scared of me. I thought he were, you know. Anyway, so that happens, and uh, um, this dude he keeps coming back, and he's like, "Oh my dears, it's just ridiculous. That woman's right far." And my mom's like, "You know, I don't even care because this dude is just going a bit too far, I and mean, he's too, he's just immature for his age." And uh, um, yeah. That's the story of Goku and the Yangster Squad. There, there might be more stories to this, I don't know, but there might be more story times, because I do have a couple more stories to do. But, please, share this with any all your friends on social media. Please subscribe, sub subscribe like the video, um, you know, share it, again, share it five times on every account you've got on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.